Yes, I just want my fellow Americans to know what's going on in Nigeria. To the people of Nigeria and the people in the southeast corner of Nigeria, especially Biafra, right now, today in Orlu, which is Emo State, Nigeria, the Nigerian military is attacking security networks set up to protect people from terrorists. And nobody in the world is doing anything. Britain, the U.S., nobody's doing anything. Our government is not doing anything. Let me give you a little history about the Nigerian military who has been compromised by terrorists. If you, all you have to do is go YouTube, why we pardon repentant Boko Haram members, Nigerian military, out of their own mouths on YouTube live, are talking about reintegrating and pardoning terrorists, Boko Haram. And then I want you to YouTube Repentant Boko Haram fighters can become president, says Army GOC, which stands for General Commander Officer, who is saying that repentant Boko Haram fighters can be, become president. And not only that, on some of the terroristic Boko Haram that have been killed by the Nigerian military, they gather their phones and they notice in their phones that they're in contact with Nigerian police and Nigerian military who have been compromised by terrorists and allowed to be done by that, like, allowed to be done by the Nigerian sponsoring, terrorist sponsoring government. This angers me very much because innocent people, including Judeo-Christians, are being targeted by terrorists in military and police uniforms. And there is evidence of it. How can a Nigerian government and president say that he's going to fight Boko Haram, yet he's forgiving crimes of supposed repentant Boko Haram fighters? and integrating them in the community and in the military. That would be like us in the U.S. telling ISIS, if you say you're repentant, we're going to forgive your crimes, and we're going to integrate you in our community and military. And they are going under the disguise of military uniforms and in high-ranking military positions and sending actual uniformed Nigerian military cover terrorists in the uniform to the Southeast Judeo-Christian communities. And now they're in Orlu, Emo State, attacking an Eastern security group that formed to protect people from Fulani terrorists that are killing and raping women in the Southeast. And the Nigerian military is going after them instead of Boko Haram. And they're busy forgiving Boko Haram of their supposed repentances and their crimes that they've already committed. Why? Why? Why has Britain not said anything? Why has the U.S. ambassadors not said anything? This American girl wants to know.